this is Jane from Talis TCT. In this video, I'll be integrating a Red Hat Certificate Authority, part of the Red Hat Certificate System version 9.4, with a Talis TCT T-Series Luna Network HSM. As you can see here, we've produced an integration guide, so if you're a Talis TCT customer, feel free to log into the support portal to download it, or contact Talis TCT customer support to request it. The Red Hat Certificate System is comprised of several subsystems, including most notably the Certificate Authority. The other subsystems can also be spawned to use the HSM, but in this video I'll be focused solely on the Certificate Authority for brevity. Note that the Red Hat server is fully configured with all the prerequisites for running the Red Hat Certificate System, including the Red Hat Directory server. Also for brevity, I've already installed the Luna Client software on the Red Hat server and established the network trust link with the HSM. To do this involved creating a partition on the HSM specifically for the Red Hat server and exchanging certificates between the server and the HSM to establish the TLS-based secure link. Here you can see I'm SSH'd into our test HSM and have a Red Hat 134 partition configured. And this shows you that the partition currently has no contents and is awaiting integration. Before getting started with the spawning of the CA, I'm going to verify the network trust link is up on the client side. Here I'm SSH'd into the Red Hat server and I'm in the Luna Client's bin directory where utilities are located. Here you can see a VTL utility. I'll be issuing the VTL verify command. And just to show you the full path, it's the user SafeNet Luna Client bin directory. So I'm going to issue the command VTL verify. And this result shows you that it is indeed connected to the HSM and communicating with the partition Red Hat 134. With connectivity to the HSM confirmed, I'm now ready to start the process of spawning a root certificate authority. To create a certificate authority on Red Hat, you use a utility called PKI Spawn. Here's the man page for PKI Spawn. You would use this utility to create any subsystem within the certificate system. You can see the options here, the Certificate Authority, the KRA, OCSP, TKS, or TPS, part of the Token Management System. For more detailed information on the PKI Spawn utility, please consult this man page. When you spawn a Certificate Authority or any other subsystem of the Red Hat Certificate System, a configuration file named default.cfg is used by PKI Spawn and this file is located in the Etsy PKI directory. You can see it is located right there. If you examine this file, you'll see that it has dozens and dozens of parameters that can be used to customize your PKI environment. You're strongly encouraged to read Red Hat documentation to understand all these. Red Hat's recommended procedure for spawning a subsystem that uses an HSM is to create a much smaller config file that contains just those parameters necessary for using the HSM as its token. This is the procedure I'll be demonstrating. The parameter settings in this file will override the parameter settings in the default.cfg file. So the first step is to create this HSM-specific config file. To save time, I've already created and set the parameters for this integration in this file. Note that if you're a Talus TCT customer, you can log into the support portal and search the knowledge base for PKI Spawn to download a template of this file. Just modify the template per your requirements and environment. Now I'll just briefly touch on the contents of this file. I go into more detail in the integration guide, but I don't want to take all the time to describe each parameter. You can see we're enabling the use of the HSM and providing a path to the library file. This is the partition name and you will see it repeated everywhere it's asking for the token. And down here in the CA specific um, section you can see that we're providing the token name there as well. You will have to provide the partition password. 
here in this PKI token password file. These passwords are all different passwords and I explained this in the integration guide but these two are provided at this time and you can set them to whatever you want. This password however has to be the directory manager password that was set when um, the directory server was installed so make sure you are aware of what that password is. So those are the basic contents of this file. And with the HSM config file ready to go, we're now also ready to spawn the certificate authority. Here you can see the command PKI spawn s is indicating the CA subsystem is to be spawned dash F and we're going to provide the file HSM config and the dash VVV is for a verbose log file. So when I hit enter here, the spawning process is going to start and we're going to see a lot of activity, which I will fast forward through. Upon completion of the spawn process, you will see this installation summary. One of the things I want to do is return to the bin directory and execute the utility CMU list and what this is going to do is reach out to the HSM and ask for the contents of the partition now. And you'll have to provide the password. And here you can see several objects now exist on the HSM and those were all created in support of the certificate authority. So with this the integration is complete the certificate authority has been spawned and is using the HSM as its secure storage of its private key and certificates and can use the HSM for its cryptographic needs. And now if I open a browser and navigate to the URL provided in the installation summary, you can see that I am now accessing the certificate system. I hope this video has helped and thanks for watching.